Um, let's see, I just got this package in the mail and I've been waiting for it forever. And so I want to do a quick unboxing video. As you can see, like it literally just came out of the mailbox. So I haven't opened it yet. So you are going to see it for the first time as I am. Also, how cute are these little sticky notes? I think I got them from Staples a while ago. They have cute little designs. So there's like a little croissant and a little cup of coffee, which of course are my favorite, a uh, pretzel, and then the corny ones. So it just flips through those four. Oh, love them. Anyway, this is just covering up my address. So let's get into it. I have my handy dandy Christmas scissors here. Cute little Santa Claus. Um, you know, I figured appropriate for this time of year. So let's see if I can open this up. I want to get this done because I was waiting at home for this to arrive and I have to make it to the post office today actually and it because it's a Saturday the post office closes at 2 so I wanted to get this get it opened up get my grubby little hands all over it and then get my butt off to the post office so all right so standard priority mail can box today whoosh um oh so this comes from this shop, Craft and Lore. Um, I learned about them on Instagram, I believe, um, because I was looking for a um, Field Notes cover, and it just seemed like I couldn't find one that was quite right, like 100% exactly what I wanted. And then I found this, and I waited for, I think, a couple weeks to a couple months, you know, maybe two months after I found it, and I was kind of oh, do I want it? Do I not want it? Is it right? Because they're very expensive, right? It's a handmade leather item, um, but it's made here in the U.S., right? Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. Um, and I love supporting, you know, American businesses and American craftsmen, which is not to say that other craftsmen aren't good, but, you know, if, if I can buy something American made, I might as well. Um, if for nothing else, then the shipping is cheaper. Um, but anyway, so it's very expensive. Um, this is a Northwestward Field notes cover. This one, um, there's two varieties. There's one made in Horween Dublin leather, which I believe at this moment is $110. And this one is saddle leather, which is $80. So it's not an, a small investment, right? But I was like, this should last me the rest of my life. So I went with the saddle leather one, not because of the price. I mean, I had all my ducks in a row, so I, I could have afforded either one. Um, but this one is, well, let's go ahead and open it up. So, so the, I, I really like this. I was not expecting this cute little canvas kind of slip bag, but that's really cute and I love it. Um, and let's get this guy out of here. Ah, so this is a natural saddle leather, and that was why I picked the saddle leather over the Horween, was because, right, natural leather will patina over time. Um, and I really wanted to try my hand at, you know, getting a patina, you know. Um, some leather nuts go, some leather people go nuts over it. I wanted to see how I felt about it. So the light is not real great. This is actually more pink in real life. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the front. All right, so it's got two snaps on it. Here's the back. Pretty plain, except for the um, logo just stamped in there. Let's focus. Right. Very, looks pretty much the same. As the logo that's on the little bag that it came in so that's pretty cool I think this is a new logo I think he just switched over to this I think I saw that on Instagram he just switched over so this is a natural leather it looks like it has um, kind of like a tan or a natural colored stitch on it and like I said this is much pinker in real life um, it, I, it's I, yeah the, the lighting is not great but so it's got these snaps on it so it's a, which are very tight because it's brand new all right, so it's a pretty, pretty thick, decent leather. Let's see if I can get to focus on that. All right, it's pretty thick leather. Mi minimal detailing, right? It's got this little kind of um, line that kind of goes around the edge, but otherwise it's not, it's not fancy. Um, so this is what you get when you open up that flap. All right, so the snaps inside of the leather right here. And then you open it up all the way. So this is kind of a combination Field Notes wallet. So it comes with the Field Notes, so that's exciting because I've actually never tried the standard Field Notes version before, so this will be a good chance for me to try that. I always buy the, the seasonal edition, so I've never actually tried just a normal craft 
field notes. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that guy out so we can see the rest of this. Right, so this, oh, and a cute little business card, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, so this is the cover, empty. So it's kind of a wallet, field notes cover, but it's not meant to be a heavy duty wallet, right? It's meant to be a minimal kind of wallet. So there's places over here for a couple cards. I'm probably just going to put like my ID and maybe stick a little bit of cash in there, right? Whatever I need on a daily basis, because I don't have to carry everything with me on a daily basis because I don't drive. Um, so I really just need my school ID and a little bit of cash and maybe my library card. Um, so there's that. And then I think this little piece here will fit a um, like a space pen, like a little bullet space pen. I don't plan to put anything in there. Um, but I, I have seen pictures on his Instagram of that. So, um, the stitching, it's all hand stitched. It looks super solid. Um, right. It's double stitched at the ends. So it looks like it will hold up really well over time, which is great. And he guarantees all of his stitching. And then this field notes pocket, right, is open on both sides. So oh, come on, focus. So open on both sides. So I suppose if you wanted to, you could put your field notes in, you know, like this. And if you are left-handed or prefer to write the other way, I suppose. Um, but that's really cool. And of course, it will accommodate, you know, field notes. It will also accommodate anything that's field note size. So I think there's um, Word notebooks, Doan paper, um, Claire Fontaine makes some field note size books, which I'm not crazy about, but they, you know, they are there and they have much fountain pen friendlier paper, but I love field notes. I, I am a field notes junkie and I'm not afraid to admit it. So, so that's that. So I'm really excited to, um, and it, you know, still like this is super solid. Like this is really stiff leather. Um, and he says that it will break in over time, right? It just takes handling and, and using it to break it in, which I plan to do. Um, and I'm really excited to, you know, get some patina on it. I'm going to just spend most of the weekend just kind of holding it and kind of rubbing it and trying to um, get my grubby little hands all over it and get some of that aging process going. Um, unfortunately, it's winter, so I can't really leave it out in the sun because we have no sun. But that's that. So, once again, that is Craft and Lore. The proprietor is Mr. Um, Cad Von Lind, very nice guy. Um, I actually had emailed with him for a little while because I wasn't, you know, sure which one I wanted, and I was asking him, you know, oh, which one, you know, what, what's the difference between the two and this and that. And he was very helpful, responded to all my emails. Um, the only thing, you know, initially, so this isn't a bad thing, but right, so this is a handmade leather good. So it did take a little while to get it. Um, I ordered this, I think, on November thirteenth. And it is now December 6th. Oh, by the way, happy St. Nick's Day. Um, it's December 6th. Granted, I think it shipped out on Tuesday. So the shipping just took a while. Um, but it took, you know, about two weeks to get it made. And then, you know, a postal service was kind of slow getting it into my hands. But um, so, you know, it's not, he, I think he does sometimes have things in stock for immediate shipping. But, you know, when you order something that is handmade, you have to realize that it's not an instant gratification kind of thing, which I struggle with, but I'm working on it. So that's that. I will, you know, do a full review on it once I've had more time to kind of play with it and, you know, decide some feelings about it. But right now I really like it. I, I really, it's, at, at this moment, it is everything I hope for and more. Um, so I'll be back with a review, hopefully some patina on here. And, um... Have a good weekend, everyone, if it's the weekend when you're watching this. Otherwise, have a good day. Bye.